I wanted to quickly go over some of the search features. Some of them are new advanced features and some of them are features we've had for a little while here. So in smart content, if you look up and say products and you say um, name, full colon, full colon, and ball, you'll find everything that has ball in the name. Maybe you'll go ball cap, you can see anything that has ball and cap in the name. So here you got mocap and that's what's showing up here. But if you want just ball cap, if you put this in quotes, now it'll only show things that include both. Now what's cool is now inside content library, you can, if you click this little widget here, you'll see your search options. So here you can see all the different things you can turn on. You can say no to poser formats, you can say yes to poser formats. Come down to database, you have these other options. Now you have advanced. And so advanced is gonna give you a handful of little things. And if you click this thing, it'll open a website that says, gives you other options. And so there's a lot more you can do here than I'm gonna show you real quick. And this also works in smart content. In smart content, you can actually even look for a SKU if you knew exactly the SKU of the asset you wanted. So that's pretty handy. So here, I'm gonna show you how to use these handy little features, filters. So if you hit keyword, it brings up key, name, group, and then the date created this is the date the asset was created and date updated. That'll be based on what you see in like DIM. So in, say, in here, we're gonna say keyword. We're gonna say we want the keyword to be Genesis 9. Now, if you hold down control, I hit another filter, and I can say in the name, I want wall cap. So now it's gonna use both those things to find us something. And so here, now we see something that had the keyword wardrobe and the name ball cap. So that gives you a pretty handy way to, to search real quick. Now, the other thing I'm gonna show you is inside either content library or smart content, you can now right click in the new version, say add license tags. What that's gonna do is it's gonna query the store. Now I'm logged in. If I wasn't logged in, um, it would ask me if I wanted to log in, and I will say if you aren't a DAS Connect user, make sure you don't check refresh metadata because you definitely don't want that. But so I could do that with multiple items. Um, and I'll say like these things, let's say well, let's go products, kill my search, and say, okay, I want these, and I'm going to say add license tags. And it's going to query the store and it's going to find out what licenses I have with those assets. And then I can come down here and say, put this little button here, I can see my information. And then in hindsight here, in tags, I can see that this one has a standard license and a 3D print license. So what that's helpful is now I can say, all right, I'm going to go into my search again and I'm going to search for key, and I'm going to say 3D print license. And I want to see all products I have that have a 3D print license. Well, let's say I do a lot of 3D printing and I want to be able to come back and forth to this, or I have interactive licenses or whatever. I can now say save filter and I can say 3D printing. And now anytime I come to my search, I can just go straight to 3D printing and see my 3D print assets. And then there's other licenses like interactive or standard and standard should be basically everything. But that's a quick way that you can organize your content. You can also create other groups you want, um, which then you can then use in this group option. And to create groups, you can check the, the documentation. We'll make sure there's a link for that. So yeah, so that's some of the quick handy things that have been added to help you manage your content better. So like I said, any product you want, right click, add license tags, it's quickly checking. Then I go, okay, Walter, click on you. What tags do I have? Just the standard license. And then these are obviously other keywords you can search. Hopefully that's helpful. Thanks.